All right, you guys can hear me. We're up. We're good to go. So we're gonna play the game on normal difficulty. Subtitles are on. Hints are. I'll leave them on for now. Speakers, normal speak, large speakers. Continue. Yes, yes, yes. Auto save. Blah 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 blah. And we will begin a new story. So as to not spoil anything for anyone. And Sammy, here we go. Now, by the way, everything you're currently seeing here right now, this is all uh, not pre-rendered. This is rendered in real time, as far as I know. Which shocked the hell out of me. Like, I mean, I know PC purists will complain that console graphics aren't great and all that stuff. But this is gorgeous. I don't care who you are. This, this is more than we need at this point, graphically. Like, I don't really see how much more detailed we can get. Yes, I have heard about the date-sensitive Easter egg. Um, unfortunately, I had not cleared that particular quest line uh, enough to get the the secret. But maybe I'll try to do it before that date rolls around. Again, I'm trying not to spoil for, for mostly for Sammy's sake. Everybody else here is is aware of, I guess, what that uh, refers to. Just gonna enjoy the music a little bit here. Yes, and by the way, if you're not aware, this only happens when you move the thumbsticks. So hey, while this little bit of cutscene is going on, I'm gonna go run use the bathroom, I'll be right back. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Nine months ago, Joker was cremated. I pressed the button and burnt the evil bastard myself. And then, we waited. Gotham braced itself for the inevitable power struggle. But it didn't come. Crime actually fell. Deep down, I knew war was coming. I was just waiting for someone to pull the trigger. Alright, I am back, fellas, and just in time to take control of the playable part of this intro. By the way, I want you guys to take a look at the facial rigs of some of these characters. Like, the facial expressions here are just amazing. No oh, thanks, honey. So, what'll it be? The usual? Sure. I love all of the detail here, and the no. fact that the, the fonts are so crisp and clear that you can just... You know, you can do this shit. Don't tell my wife. Whatever you say, officer. Spaghetti Falcone? Oh, that's funny. What else is in here? Keystone waffles, Miyagani muffins, Paul's pancakes, or French toast. Oh, sorry. Sorry to interrupt your dinner, officer. Always. There's a guy smoking over there in the corner booth. Well, you know, if he looks really hot, of course he's going to be smoking. I'll have a word. That was funny. My wife like making fun of me over in the corner. I also like the fact that almost every single character in this room is modeled individually. Like some nice stuff going on here. Huh, there's a few hints going on here. Whoever's job it was to lay out the newspapers in this game, kudos on you, sir. You did a really good job. Oh yeah, there's the smoking guy. Let's go handle this. Excuse me, sir. There's no smoking in here. Well, you don't have to get nasty about it. Is 
Silent Hills, a Hideo Kojima game. Too soon? Too soon. I really would play a horror game like this, though. This is really good. I was gonna say, is it possible to have that many bullets in one clip? Care package? Anyone? I cannot say how much I love that intro, though. Like, I would play a whole game like that. Except if it were like a zombie survival horror game. I've played too many of those. Anyway, so, moving along. This demonstration used just five ounces of Yes, Del Toro has said he's still working with Kojima or something, and I'm really, really, really excited about that. This will seem like child's play. Gotham, this is your only warning. This, this, I think, is one of the darkest Batman games, and I'm really okay with that. It is... Except for maybe a couple of scenes that are... Anyway, we'll get to that. Uh, he said that they're still friends, Benji. Um, he said that they are... Uh, that he is my friend, and that, you know, we, we will most likely work on something in the future, so... Scarecrow's threat work. Yesterday, there were 6.3 million people in Gotham City. Today, not so many. I'm still here, by the way, guys. I'm just letting you enjoy the voice acting. Of the sort that enjoy the chaos. <laughs> Gotham's finest. Scum. Criminal. And worse. Not a Kojima directed strain game them. would be brilliant. Um, hello, hello. He's not a gator man, he's a crocodile. Get your facts right. <sighs> it took just 24 hours for us to lose control of the city. Tonight. Gotham's relying on one Yeah, the the guy playing phone. Gordon here, I would I would listen to him read the phone book. He's got a great voice. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate this scene? Because not only are we seeing the entire playable area, but it zooms in right there to show you detail on a building and then detail on Batman. As if to say, look at what this engine is capable of. And this, guys, this is what I like to see in at least my first two years of, of games on a new console. So here we go. Get used to the view, boys. You'll be seeing this a lot. And I will be talking a lot about the design of this game. Um, particularly because I, I think it is... I mean, if open world is going to be a thing going forward in game design, this is the way to do it. I'm not sure if there are no two alike buildings. The textures are pretty well varied, at least. Um, I'm sure there must be at least some repeated buildings. If not, yeah, there must be repeating textures, at least. You can't have 50 gigs of textures and just... Also, cloth physics. That cape, though. And this is what I worry about, though, you Sammy. Still like, know how to make an entrance. okay, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet for a second so we can enjoy the scene. Last bus crossed the city limits an hour ago. I'm just glad my little girl got out when she did. Now the real work begins. Any lead on Scarecrow? We were tracking an unknown military vehicle speeding through Chinatown. It's the only lead we've had all night, but they gave us the slip. With the evacuation, I just don't have the manpower left in the city. If you find it. Tell your men not to engage. I'll deal with it. Do you really think Scarecrow's crazy enough to detonate a chemical weapon in Gotham? I won't let that happen, Jim. In case you need to reach me, it's going to be a long night. All you 
Made by Apple. Hey, Batman. Womp womp womp. Every damn time. So, yes, um, Benji, you're right. It is a bit of an easy conceit to say, hey, the city is empty. Oracle, I need the location of Unit 247. Already working on it. How's my dad doing? He's holding up. Somehow, he always does. Okay, I'm sending through the squad car's location. Be careful. It's not looking good out there. Yeah, Sammy, I agree. He sounds beaten and worn, which is exactly what I would expect Gordon to sound like in a situation like this. In fact, it's what I expect Gordon to sound like all the frickin' time. I mean, that guy has a hard job. Do you know how decrepit this city is? I mean, nobody takes that job by choice unless your name is Jim Gordon, alright? But no, the voice acting in this game... There are a couple of instances where it's a little wonky, but it's mostly from, like, none of the big characters. But yeah, um, as I was saying before, Benji, yes, it is a pretty narrow conceit that the city is evacuated. But you know what? I dig it because it... Oh, there's... Uh, I think that's Steve Bloom's voice. It sets up a really nice environment for all this stuff to happen in. So let's do a little combat, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, Batman can dash real far. Ah, uh, didn't get the, the charging thug in time. Of course Batman doesn't kill. This is all non-lethal. Don't you don't you believe that, folks? That was a completely non-lethal blow to the face that probably broke a few bones in his skull. You're safe. Thanks, Batman. I thought they were gonna kill me. Oh, was David Kay who did uh Gordon's voice in the animated series? Or was that in one of the movies? The city's overrun. We don't stand a chance. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. I, can we just take a moment to appreciate this prompt? This is right up there with, pay X, with press X to pay respects in, in Advanced Warfare. But here we go. One of my favorite scenes in the game, folks. Well, I think the answer to that, Brandon, is quite simple. He's the goddamn Scarecrow, and he wants a city of fear. Also, by the way... Oracle, I need to track that military vehicle. A squad car has picked up the pursuit. I'm relaying its location now. And yeah, I was about to say, by the way, this, this does not move from this scene here until you, like, rev the engine. Call so... Golf Oscar 5-6, this is Commissioner Gordon. I'm sorry, I don't think I can talk much while I'm driving. <laughs> Funnily, I can do that in real life. Not so much here. Oh, and it seems like my controller, my batteries and my controller are getting a little low. We'll deal with that as it comes. Um, yeah, I mean, they've made good open world Spidey games before. Actually, here's a challenge for you. Make an open world Spidey game like this that has the Spider Mobile in it. I'd pay to play that. That'd be ridiculous. Or the Spider Bike from Unlimited Spider Man. That was pretty cool. Got him. That takes care of the vehicle. I need to interrogate the driver and find out what he knows. So let's find out what the driver knows. What do you know, driver? <laughs> Leopold, yes, yes, with like Mech Warrior style controls, yes, I would play that. Where Scarecrow? Go to hell. I sort of wanted these interrogations to be playable. Like I wanted, like, give me like an analog Where stick control he? to twist the guy's wrist. I got nothing to say to you, Batman. Talk. Or I'll crush every An open world Silent Hill could work, especially if you gave me enough buildings to explore. And enough side stories to do. I think it would be good. But I'm not sure it would bear the Silent Hill name. I think that would be an entirely different type of game. It wouldn't be as directed as Silent Hill is. Um, I, I say give it a different name and move along with it, and yeah, you'd have a great game. Which is probably where they're going with Silent Hills. You know, to differentiate itself from the original series. Anyway. Sure. Is this what I think it is? Scarecrow's new toxin. 
An uncontaminated sample. You're not kidding. I'll prepare a full chemical breakdown on the back computer. What are you going to do? Scarecrow's got a safe house nearby. I'm going to pay him. Oh, visit. thank you, baby. My wife just brought me batteries for my controller, guys. Which I will change as soon as they die. Um. What? Oh, sure. No problem. Alright, so let's get in the Batmobile and drive to where we're supposed to go. Um, the early Silent Hill games were a simulacrum of open world. I wouldn't necessarily call them open world because a lot of the buildings were not interactable. Like, a lot of nothing was interactable. It was actually on a fixed pathway, but it was so lovably designed. Oh, sorry, I gotta check the penthouse. It was so... Yeah, I'm... I, like I told you guys, I can't really drive and talk at the same time in video games. I can do it in real life. Oh, that's right. X button is brakes. Right, I can't change that just yet. Yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, no, that's why I was having so much trouble driving. I keep forgetting that X is brake in this game. Bob Hastings! Um, I hate to sound terrible, but isn't he dead? I can't remember. So I'm going to point out a thing in this fight that you guys are going to... I don't know if you, you would have noticed, but what's going on here is that you'll notice that there's a lot more uh, enemies in this crowd that have ever been in a Batman game before. And that's not so much an issue of better hardware, but it's an issue of DirectX 11 versus DirectX 9 and 10. DirectX 11 allows for a lot more things to be held in memory at any given time. And so mobs of enemies are bigger, and this is why you saw in um, well, in Dark Souls, uh, Scholar of the First Sin, they were able to put more enemies on screen at the same time. So enjoy this cutscene for a second. Were you expecting to find me, Batman? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Take a look at the chamber. I want you to know the fear that is coming. Listen up, Bat Freak. We're walking out of here. Yeah, Ivy's face is brilliantly rendered. Honey, but only one of us is getting out of this cell. Whoever her facial actress was is brilliant. Um, Brandon, I, I I'd like to add something to that. If you ever played the Silent Hill game on Wii, uh, Shattered Memories, that game makes you take a psychological test at the beginning of the game that tailors the scares in the game based on what you're most afraid of. So add that to your, your conceit there, and I think you've got a wonderful game idea on your hands. And yes, I've watched you play Silent Hill 2 before. You didn't get very far. What are you doing? That facial animation is so good. No hello. I could comment Tell on other me. things, but I'm 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 trying to be mature. And what if I don't want to? Then I burn every plant in Gotham. That's a big undertaking, Batman. It started with a meeting. What meeting? Everyone was there. Burn every plant Everyone in Gotham. Is that is that a euphemism burn. for weed? Even poor Harley. Cuz you know, if anybody needs to 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 smoke a bowl and chill out, it's Bruce Wayne. And Gotham would be <laughs> That made my wife laugh. Over my dead body. 420 blaze it! <laughs> Wayne Mansion. 360 no scope, no I gun. Interested in his pathetic human <laughs> and when I came to, I was locked up in that room. It's such a shame that his vile toxin has no effect on She it. is more realistically proportioned, I will give you that. Like, artistically, I can appreciate that a lot. Ivy's great. No, oh, no spoilers. Sammy hasn't played the game yet. Don't, don't get sad. Will he ever learn? Crap! I think I just spoiled it. Well, no, just, just that's my wife. <laughs> my wife says Ivy is her wife, so I guess by extension is Ivy my wife. I don't know. No. No? Just that's not how that works. Okay. You're coming with me. You only had to ask. I love that she's like, she's like has that badass What's moment that? where she's like, I escaped the Batman. Yeah, Batman's just Batman's just wherever he needs to be at any given time. Oh, here we go, the drone tanks. Go, go, go! 
Tasia Valenza. I need to keep an eye on her work because she's very good. Are you sure it's him? Confirmed, it's Batman. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Poison Ivy is played by the same woman who played Sniper Wolf in Metal Gear Solid. I am so happy about that. So let's do the remote Batmobile thingy. I'm now starting to see how difficult streaming games are, guys, because, like, I'm trying to talk to you guys and play the game at the same time, and it's really difficult. So please excuse me if I go quiet for scenes like this, because the Batmobile gameplay is a little tricky. It's like a puzzle. You gotta, like, dodge incoming fire and, like, yeah. A <laughs> pretty lucrative pot dealer. Yeah, Ivy would have the good kush. All right, where are the other where are the other tanks? I'm trying to do that and keep an eye on chat. See, I've got the chat on a separate monitor. There they are. These are like the most unresponsive drones ever though. Absolutely terrible. Take care of that one. Take care of this one. Ah, missed. Right. Oh, took a shot. I was trying to do this perfect, guys. I don't think I have the dodge move yet. I think that comes in later in the game, and I'm not playing New Game Plus, so there's that. Can I change these controls for a second? Batmobile pursuit mode, Batmobile battle mode. There's an there's an option in here somewhere. Where's that option to, to change the Batmobile controls? This won't let me change anything, I'm afraid. Anyway, I guess that comes in later, but whatever. Just deal with it for now. We need to leave. The master of understatement. Oh really? Is that a thing in Gods and Monsters? I haven't seen that either yet. Gotta get on that. I just don't have time these days. Um, can someone, either in the chat or whatever, just look up for me, um... Yeah, it is a lot like War for Cybertron. Um, can somebody look up for me, how do I change the Batmobile controls in this game? I love it when Batman says it's time to go to war. Like, when, when Batman's at his darkest, when he just doesn't give a crap anymore, like, I like it, and I hate it all at the same time. Oh, do I have to do the systems diagnostic thingy? Really? I might as well do it. Let me just do this challenge real real quick, guys. I think maybe I have to do this in order to change the uh, control scheme. Yes, it's a tutorial. I should have turned these off. But I, I, it's been a while since I've played this, so I sort of didn't want to miss anything. Like, I didn't want to be floundering for gameplay. So yeah, when you kill a, a certain amount of drones, you build up this energy and it can be used to use special abilities. Okay, alright. Uh, Brandon, uh, Ashley is reading out your instructions to me, and thank you both of you. All right, so I, I'm gonna have to wait till I get to GCPD to change that. No problem. Uh, KSDA first. Where do I know you from, buddy? Are you from Facebook, for Affinity, Twitter? I, I like I like when new people introduce themselves, just so I know where you're from and I know how to address you and who you are and all this stuff. Fire and missile barrage. It does, Sammy, and it's it's got a nice little glide to it. So like when you stop, it doesn't stop on a dime. It's got like a like a foot of travel after that. <clears throat> Destroy four active targets to complete the test. All right, let's do that without taking a lot of damage. So there's your challenge, folks. I do enjoy the challenges in this game. I just don't really have the time to put into playing all of them. These things just keep coming, don't they? Level two, ready. 
Alright, I gotta make sure I got four enemies to kill. Alright, there we go. My wife's in the chat. God, I keep holding that left bumper for break. This is Commissioner Gordon. We have numerous hostile tanks deployed across the city. I am going to flounder at this until I get to GCPD, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't have the afterburners yet either. So I'm going to ask Ashley to entertain you guys in the chat while I, I cannot speak because my mind is just like so occupied with doing this gunfire exercise. Because when I said it's a it's a puzzle, what I mean is like this whole thing about the, the... You can see where they're aiming at you and you can see when the lights turn red. Which is nice because what it does is it gives you a, like, a little mental shortcut to know that red means bad, right? I mean, and you already know this. But what it does is it basically boils it down to a puzzle of making sure you're not you're touching any interconnected control. lines. You know, it could be a Facebook game for all you know. Let's hope they were the last. It's a very simple mini game, and it works well in combat. Just randomly watching videos, want to check out this game before I buy it. Not a problem, dude. I will. If, if you have any questions about what the game feels like, feel free to ask. I am here to help. Um, I, I will tell you though, it is definitely worth the money you'll pay for it. Just don't buy any of the special editions. I don't think the DLC is quite worth it until you finish the game and then decide which DLC you want. So like, I'm saying, just buy the base game, you'll be fine with it. I bought the digital edition, um, just the game, and I'm more than happy with it. It's got more content than I can feasibly finish with a busy lifestyle. You know what I mean? And that was, by the way, that was directed to KDSDA first. Uh, thanks for checking out my stream, guy. I'm, I'm glad I'm getting, like, random people just dropping in. That means I'm... What the hell? KDS the first, is that what it is? Okay. I don't know, people have strange names online. I'm not one to talk. <laughs> the Keaton suit in the Batmobile, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. Um, Any progress with the I like the costumes, but I don't really feel like they add much to combat. What I want is I want an Adam West costume that, that you know, when you punch people, it says, like, bow, uh, pow, zock, wham, whatever. Um, I don't know if it's an homage so much as it might be... Well, these are different engines. Is this... I, is Batman using the Unreal Engine? I don't know. Somebody's gonna have to look that up for me. But if this is using Unreal Engine 3 or 4, then it might actually be shared code. Honestly, why do you even bother with these meat sacks? Civil unrest? There's a war on the streets. We don't have the manpower or the equipment. I cannot do it, Captain. I just do not have the power. Ivy. Well, that's one less thing to if it's UE4, it might be some shared code, because I, if I remember correctly, the Transformers games were on UE3. Oh good, another cell. Poison Ivy, Master of Sarcasm. Yep, UE3, that's what I thought. So yeah, um, Sammy, what you're seeing there is probably some leftover code. I don't want to say leftover code, that sounds bad. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a shared design philosophy, let's put it that way. And the scum out there on the streets will do everything in their power to make sure it stays that way. Now you all had your chance to evacuate... Ayo, Ao Ninja Cloud. I don't believe I know you either. Unless you're from Fur Affinity or Twitter. Uh, if you're a random person just passing by to check out the stream, thank you very much. Uh, you can follow me if you want. I could use some more followers. I, I need to figure out how people do that noise when, when people follow on Twitch. I'm new at this Twitch streaming thing, so excuse me on that. Yeah, no, no. This is definitely UE4. This is built for like, like, look at the amount of, uh, the, look at the amount of people standing in this room. This is DirectX 11 at work, folks. This is what DX11 has been meant for all this time. We just never had hardware good enough to push it. Um, because remember, like the the Xbox 360 had like 
what was it, 512 megs of RAM for like the longest while? Half a gig of RAM and we were running all those games on it? Uh, am I supposed to be here yet? No, I don't think I need to get anything from here yet, so I'm just gonna leave the GCPD. Boop, 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 boop. It's me, it's me, Brandon. No, you're talking to a Brandon. Is it that it's you named Brandon, or... I'm confused. There are too many Brandons. Damn bureaucrats. We're on our own. We can handle it, Jim. By the way, I'm not moving that camera. I don't know what that strange camera move. What is this camera movement going on here? Am I am I tracking Gordon's nose? Is All that what's right, going on? See. Go home, Yui, for you're drunk. We've lost contact with the fire crew from Station 17. We've got their last known coordinates, but they're not going to survive out there on their own for long. Then there's this. It's a strange one. I'm oh, glad to see Aaron Cash back. Long to look Love Aaron back Cash. But the forensics boys seem freaked out. Real nasty. Also, we've had several sightings of the Riddler creeping around the train yard. Knowing that guy, he's got to be... Correction, it's me, Brandon. Look, I know so I, I guess we have two Brandons in the chat? Is going to save lives. Ninja Cloud, you, you, you have to... I, I know like three or four Brandons. You're going to have to... So there's one other Brandon in the chat. You're going to have to clarify which Brandon you are. Is it Brandon of Dance? Is it Brandon of Dance? Is it Brandon of Poetry? I do not know. Yes, I know how to do mission select, and I'm selecting the mission. Set waypoint with right trigger. I'm, I'll look into these later. Scarecrow's the priority. Fernandez, it's Gordon. Give me an update. Yeah, it's pretty behind, but anyway. Okay. After you finish searching the docks, I want you to link up with Michaels and work your way. All right, let's uh, let's leave Gordon to do what he does best. God knows how we got out without shooting anyone. The people in that diner tore each other. Apart. See, they do say that he didn't shoot anyone if you don't shoot anyone in the diner. That's a nice little little trick. That's because like the first time I played, I shot some of the zombies and they were like, "Oh, all those people he killed." Blah blah blah. That's nice. That's really good. That's like Chrono Trigger levels of 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 recall in a story in narrative. Okay, it is Garrett. Okay, because I got real confused there a second ago. Boop. So I love the guys who are always checking out the Batmobile when you come outside. There's at one point they're taking a selfie with it. It's hilarious. It's a nice humanizing touch. Good evening, Mr. Wayne. I hope the car is performing to your Lucius Fox. I love Lucius Fox. Okay, so where's my option to change these controls? Battle mode toggle. Thank you. That's what I want. So does it work? Actually, Lucius, she's a little sluggish. Yes, battle mode toggle now works. I can drive properly now. There we go. I'd like to point out that in every incarnation of Lucius Fox I've ever seen, he always prefers to call Batman Mr. Wayne, as if he's like holding the secret over his head a bit. But I mean, he's such a trusted friend that Bruce has never I've ever thought about it much, you know? Bruce is just like, okay, yeah, whatever. We're about to go to one of my favorite parts of Gotham City in any amount of fiction ever. Whoop. So if anyone's not familiar with the Clock Tower, this is where Oracle usually hangs out. Barbara Gordon, ex-Batgirl. And by the way, for anyone who's ever watched the 1960s Batman, this is a lovely reference. Now I'm gonna be a little quiet during this cutscene because this is this is this is beautiful. I just Barbara Gordon's the best. Yes, uh Sammy, I'm glad you, you noticed the gray ghosts uh, reference. Start messing with all your stuff? 
You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. But there's nothing in there that we can trace. What if we've been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It will show where Scarecrow is creating his sphere toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still went to himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. I feel like that last bit of dialogue is a little forced, though. I mean, isn't this a thing that they would have talked about ages ago? Like, it feels like that exposition is just there for the player. And, like, serves no other purpose. Jim, we've got a way to find out where Crane's working from. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. As soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. All right, so we run off a rooftop directly and a vertical dive to glide large distances at high speed. There we go. Hey, Ziggy. My cat's home, folks. Can a satellite scan for radiation? I am not certain. I am not a... Uh, I'm, I, I don't have the technical knowledge required to qualify that question. Um, I believe, like, in large instances they can. There must be, like, some sort of, like, um, some sort of large area detection radius thing. I don't know. Like, these are things I, I have genuinely no clue about. Um, maybe somebody can Google this for me. I think to a large extent possibly, but, like, looking for, like, a specific chemical compound, that I think is very much in the realm of fantasy. This is a nice bit of modeling here for this building. That's really nice. I like to appreciate those things. Uh, so where am I headed? Down here? Gax Designs! Hey, that is Jarrell Saunders, one of the best designers in Trinidad and Tobago. His work is usually featured by Adobe. Um, you can follow him on Twitter. I believe... Uh, I think it's Gax Designs on Twitter. You can look him up on Tumblr as well. Really great illustrator. And thanks for coming to the chat, guy. Uh, I held a vote earlier tonight about what game I should play, and uh, Arkham Knight came up. And I'm currently trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be, because I'm getting distracted by talking to the chat. So I'll let my wife handle some of the chat in the chat. All the chat, chat, chat. Cheekity chat, chat, chat. Um, where is that bat signal coming from? It's clearly coming from over there. God, I, I suck at basic pathfinding tonight. Tonight's just... I'm going to blame it on the cold. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, no. Is this where I have to do this thing with the Batmobile? Okay, I know why I'm screwing up now. I got it. Because I got to have the Batmobile here. I love, I love how Batman's feet aren't actually touching the floor. Can, can, we, can we get a good look at that? Anyway. Come hither, Batmobile! Wow. Wow, I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, I'm I'm really messing up here, guys. Um toggle Batmobile off. Oh, I'm supposed to launch myself. Okay, so drive afterburner. Whatever. I'm just not having a lot of good luck tonight. Again, I'm going to blame it on the cold. I know, right? Tonight may have not have been the best night to stream, but, you know, whatever. Let's see if I get one more person in the chat here. Marvels is busy with all their marbles right now. Power the antenna directly. Hello again, Mr. Wayne. How can I help you this time? Is the power winch ready for deployment? It's 100% functional. Though no guarantees if you're intending to pull that car of yours up the side of a building. That's exactly what I'm intending to do, Lucius. Mind. It's in the job description, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Batwing's on its way. 
All right. So I gotta go here now and upgrade the Batmobile. Let's see how close I can get to there before I actually call the Batmobile. Alright, let's try not to break anything this time, Batmobile. Never mind. Broke everything. You know what would be a great job to have in Gotham City? Wrought Iron Welder. I do like this design for the Batwing, though. It's so modular looking. I still need to finish um, Stardust Crusaders, though, Mo. Like, I'm so behind on that. I just kind of want to binge watch it one day, but then again, I'm behind on binge watching, too, because I'm supposed to watch Bojack Horseman. I really should do that this weekend while I have nothing to draw, shouldn't I? I'll improvise. Now, this is real old school video game where they're showing you the path you have to take. And I sort of like it because it's very much the language of video games as opposed to the language of film, which would just show you where you have to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm very much an amateur video game designer, but I can't help but notice these things. And I'm, I'm not criticizing them in a, in a way that's like, oh, I could do better. I'm criticizing them in a way that, like, I'm just pointing out, like, how good some of this stuff really is, you know? Alright, let's, let's do the thing. Yeah! There we go. Nope, that wasn't the winch. I'm sorry, folks. Left trigger. I have problems having my left from my right. I'm sorry. Yes, kill a kill is amazing. Didn't mean to jump out, but you know, whatever. Yeah, battle mode should really be used to navigate this. I tried to drive this in regular mode the first time I did it, and wow, ended up having to redo this entire section like three times before I realized, oh no, you're supposed to be the tank to do this. I'm such a great gamer, guys. I'm so good. I'm MLG. The anchor point is secured to the wall. I can't move it using the Batmobile, but maybe it can hold the car's weight. Bruce is hard on a car. I love how the game prompts me to detach the winch exactly when it would not benefit me to do so. Thanks, game. Thank you. Gameplay mechanic derived from Alan Wake. So I just jump started a tower. Oracle, I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great, I'm connecting now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Rocket League. Haven't heard about it, Gax. Is it good? What you're working on is more important, Tim. You can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. Is the antenna ready? Yeah, but we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate... Oh, yeah, that game. Yeah, I do know what There's you're talking about. There's one Falcone shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. So I'd like to point out that an underlying theme of this game seems to be the Bruce Wayne is too type A. I can't use it right now. Because there are so many cutscenes where other characters are just like, Bruce, I just want to help, and it's like... I can't help but feel a lot of that is like advertising for DLC. Bruce, I just want to help if you'd only pay fifteen ninety nine. Okay, the DLC isn't that expensive. I'm exaggerating, but still. You left me to die in the asylum, but I will show you no such mercy. 
App description is happening. Yes, RC Car Soccer. It looks good, but again, it's like me and the MMO thing. Like, I don't know if I can devote the time to a game like that. If I do, it'll probably be just another arena shooter, and that means uh, waiting for Halo 5. <laughs> yeah, I'm lame. Whatever. Sionis Industries and Falcone Shipping like are next door to each other. That doesn't seem like good placement in terms of real estate, guys. Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. The Batmobile's powering yet five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. I need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. And that vantage point would be the gargoyles from the first game. Well, similar to gargoyles, at least. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Where's my batarang? No, I guess that's too far for them to hear, huh? I suppose a minor time sink could probably be pretty cool. I just I'm looking for games that won't won't need me to like spend more than two or three hours with them because I don't have that kind of time. <sighs> I've become an adult, guys. It's terrible. Can I sweep kick this guy? I messed that up entirely, guys. I'm sorry. Well, that didn't seem to set off any alarms. Let's see if I can do this the right way. Can I get into this grate? There we go. That's what I meant to do. Three more soldiers inside. Hearthstone, Brandon. I'd love to. I really would. You know what? Whenever you come over next, teach me how to play Hearthstone. I will. You know what? We might stream it too. Stream, stream you teaching me how to play Hearthstone. That that would be entertaining, I think. I don't. I don't think that's what that armor does, Lucius. Lucius, I think you might be upselling that armor a little more than it's capable of. Just like, I started playing Terra online today, guys, and I'm like, this game is gonna ask me for hours of my time and not give me back anything in personal experience. It'll give me back an avatar strength, which, um, I don't know if I have time to, like, describe that in game design. It'll, it'll power up my character, but, like, I won't learn anything. Which is why I've always, like, I, I've been, like, lately on Dark Souls, because Dark Souls teaches me things about its own game systems that makes me a better player rather than my character a better character. Um, and I'm looking for games like that, but there just seems to be no online games that do that. If anybody knows of one, point me to it, because I would like to spend some time playing a game like that. Like, I don't know, like a MMO Dark Souls. God, I can only dream, can't I? All right, so new bat suit, showing off that Unreal Four tech. New fifty-two armor plating, and he still retains those soft, kissable lips. That's not what that's for. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. I, I, that's a leap of logic, sir. compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic ejection mechanism, too. You fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. That's not safe. That's an OSHA violation. I'm just not sure Mr. Wayne can. Feel, Mr. Wayne? I've activated the AR training program. Should you want to run diagnostics or just... 
I don't think I will do the AR, but how do I upgrade my tech? Nope, that's not it. Is it up? Nope. Per your request, I've created a series of diagnostic... No thanks, Alfred. Um, how do I upgrade? Does anybody remember? Uh, do, 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 do. Nope. Uh, nope. No upgrades there. That's my mission select. Uh, select button gives me my... Oh, if that gives me my map, then yes. Left bumper, left bumper. There we go, Wayne Tech screen. Um, and I think right now I'm going to focus on my armor. Uh, always like to do that first. Oh, can I not get armor at this point? Blade dodge takedown. Let's just go for the aerial juggle and call that a day. Um, and I will probably come back to do a lot of these later on off stream. I don't want to bore you guys, so let's just run into... Three gunmen, one hostage. Time to put this suit to the test. There we go. That's what I was trying to remember. Oh, that I do like that bit of gameplay, though. That reminds me a lot of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Man, they said you were quick, but I never saw anyone take down three armed guys like that. Unbelievable. You're safe now. I'll send someone to pick you up. Thank you. Tell me you're gonna find. I'm playing for about an hour and a half now. Go for another like hour, I guess. Stopped. And I'll take a break to eat something, I guess. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually a proponent of smaller Batman ears because I think they're a lot easier to to maneuver and to handle. But I think in a lot of the fiction, what they do is they they kind of explain it away by saying, "Oh, they they're like radio antennas." It's a dumb excuse, I know, but whatever. It's like in, in that first episode of Flash where his radio is just like in his in his lightning bolt thingies. I made an anonymous call to GCPD. They're gonna send someone to pick up the hostage. Come on, come on, connect. Love the suit, by the way. Okay, both towers are full. Mm, got a lot of people in chat. Dasmius, I uh, that's you. XXX thirteen XX. I don't know who any of you people are, but uh, thank you for checking out the chat. It's pretty cool of you to do so. Okay, so we're about to come up on a scene here that I think is ludicrous, but I love. This is like very video gamey. This is great. This is a great way to give us perspective of the larger area of the game. Frequencies across Gotham. If I can find both frequencies at the same location. I'll know where Scarecrow is manufacturing. It's Batman, awesome. of course he can throw that far. Batman can do anything. Why did we get married again? <laughs> the radio and microwave frequencies point to ace chemicals. That's where Scarecrow's producing the toxin. Jim, I traced the fear toxin to ace chemicals. That's where we'll find Scarecrow. Impossible. I've had a team there ever since the evacuation started, just like you asked. Crane must have bought them off. Or worse. I'm in the area. I'll round I think I'm gonna the drive the there. Hold on um, so let's take a let's take a quick a quick thing in chat. Does anybody want me to do these challenges or can I just move on with the story? Quick quick show of hands, folks. Um type AR for me to do the challenges, type drive for me to not do the challenges. I'll wait a little bit until I start getting votes. Move on. I got one vote for move on. I'll, I'll count that as drive. Anybody else? Anybody else have a vote? I have two votes for drive. Three votes for drive. I'm, I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that a, a, a majority vote for drive. So let's let's go. Let's go do the thing. Oh, I wonder if I can recreate that gift that that guy did online where he called... So, call the Batmobile here. Nope, no, it didn't do it. Still, pretty funny, though. There's a new book out that you should read before 5, but I feel like an idiot for telling you that because I haven't read it yet. I should really get on that because five's coming out real soon. I forget the name of it, though. I will look it up for you in a second when I'm not busy playing a game on stream. Oh, you know the you know the gift I'm talking about, Jarrell. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was the best. You know he did. Uh, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, it was a gif of somebody summoning the Batmobile on a raised roadway, but then Batman himself dropped off, 
And so the game didn't know what to do. It literally threw the Batmobile upside down on top of Batman and killed him. It was the greatest thing ever. And it's why physics engines are the funniest thing to ever be implemented Any in modern video games. Inside? Nothing. We think there's a skeleton crew left in there, but they're not responding and the facility's locked down. If they're still alive, I'll find them. So... They should be able to tell us what Scarecrow's up <laughs> And that was how the Batman died. Yes, it was. What the hell? So while we have the focus on Gordon for a second, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk in this cutscene a little bit because nothing of real importance is happening here except maybe a gateway mechanic. As far as character design goes, I want you to notice a really minor detail about Jim Gordon's design that I think speaks speaks volumes about him. Is the fact that his gun holster is holstered over his tie. And I think that's a wonderful thing that says volumes about the character. That's why we used to keep more. See, if, if Batman's batteries died in one of his gadgets just before he got shot like that, that would be terrible. <coughs> Stay here, and I'll go find out. So yeah, what I meant by gateway mechanism is that by destroying the roadway in, you now create a situation where Batman has to sneak in. And so things like that happen in video games much for that reason. And you'll see a lot of that if you like analyze the design of Half-Life and Half-Life 2. There's always a mechanic that like pops up to prevent you from either going forward or back and to ch sort of channel you in a direction. And a lot of that is, is where Benji was talking about Silent Hill being open world but not open world before is because of a lot of gating mechanics. And by the way, the, and um, again, crowd fluid dynamics here are really good because if you notice the guys are not being touched by the tank at all. That's really nice. I believe that's done with a, a, a form of fluid dynamics in the UE4 engine. The only thing sources agree on is his name. The Arkham Knight. Or I could just be talking out of my ass, I don't know. I, I've only recently started poking around with Unreal Engine 4 to see what it can do for my own game project. base chemicals workers left on site. They'll be able to help us track down Scarecrow and locate his bomb. I need to find them. Each worker will be carrying a unique ID chip. If I can access their personnel records, mm -hmm. I'll be able to track them. There's a security terminal in a booth near your location. Try there. Alright, so... Detective mode. The first time I played Arkham Asylum, I basically played the entire first there game in this mode. There was no Before reason to switch out of it. Dangerous. Before I can access that terminal, I'll need to take them down. Oh yeah, here we go. Stealth. Not my forte, guys, so... Please excuse. Shit, I screwed that up. I screwed it up. Okay, who else do I need to take out? Sneak, 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 sneak your booty, sneak your booty. Okay. You I saw something move under the floor. No, you didn't. You didn't see shit, bro. Or you could come around this corner. There's something down there. 
It's not giving me the option to take these guys out, and I'm not sure why. God damn it, game engine. Why you gotta be like that? Not getting my prompt for silent takedown. Is it because he saw me once before? There we go. Weep. Thorough security gets paid to look at the floor. This guy? This guy knows what he's doing. He's a pro, guys. Well, he was a pro. Yes, this is the cheapest tactic possible, I am aware. But if anybody has a better idea, I'm, I'm willing I'm willing to hear it. I'm all ears like Batman's helmet. This guy. This guy knows what's up. He also knows what's down. Like his head to the floor. I am a petty little bitch. That's what I'm that's what I am. That's how I'm playing this. Oh snap! <laughs> yes, sir. Just walk around all the knocked out guys. Yeah, that, that was smart. That was real smart, buddy. Good night. It's safe to <sighs> Let's see if Oracle was right. Data connection active. Data decrypt. Yeah, if nobody's aware of what my wife is talking about in Someone chat, yeah, apparently there was a prison break in Port of Spain, the capital city around here. I got evacuated from work on Friday because prisoners had escaped and ended up like at the local hospital, like shooting up a ward and all kinds of crap. Oracle. I yep, there's my level up. Yeah, apparently the, the apparently, as my wife is pointing out, the prisoners who escaped were like accessing Facebook from prison. So like I can be out on Arapita Avenue and not get Wi Fi signal, but they're getting a good, you know, four bars in prison. I don't understand that. Cell phones for cells in jail or something. I messed up that joke, I'm sorry. I'm not a funny guy. I don't know why you guys are even watching me stream. I am the least entertaining part of this stream. Well, Benji, that's the thing. They've kind of, like, cordoned off the airports and stuff right now. So, like, you can get on a plane and leave the island, but you will have to be, like, screened before doing so. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? That is a lovely moon. I'm just gonna stand here and look at the moon for a second, guys. I'm gonna stand in the rain. Wait, wait, can I face this way? No, the camera's always behind Batman. That's, that's really lame. Because I want to, like, stand here and just, like, brood in the rain. I want this as like my, my, my screensaver for my computer, just like Batman standing brooding in the rain while like, you know, music by The National plays in the background. Can somebody play this at my funeral? It'd be great. Alright, so where are we headed? Oh, it's right up here, I think. This is perfect. Yeah, Mo, it's it's pretty much like that, yeah. Uh, yeah, Benji, um, Ashley's using Windows 10 on her laptop right now, and I have reserved my legit copies of Windows 10, Windows 10 already. Um, and it's why I got a Windows phone uh, about a couple of weeks ago, is because I'm looking for a Windows 10 on that device, too. I'm, I'm a Microsoft fanboy, you guys know this. Don't, don't say that's everyone, though, it might lose me viewers. Yeah, this part of the game I didn't quite like. This is just like a, a point-and-click hunt session. I 
Um, if you upgrade... Uh, so if you do a clean install, yes, obviously you lose all that stuff. But no, um, on the laptop, I believe I did a... Five ID markers showing up I believe I did a, a stepped-up install, and it was fine. I didn't lose a, a thing. It was a pretty smooth upgrade, to be honest. Um, and that's the technical preview, so the final version, you should have you know, even a smoother time. But I recommend a clean install. I really do. Alright, so what do I do here? I got a... I guess I'll go that way first. Actually, that seems easier to get to. Let's do that. Taken down. And that's why they call me the Batman. Because I knocked you in the crotch with a bat. It's not an animal thing, I swear. Alright, there was a guy in here I had to rescue. Yeah, there he is. But you know he did. Oracle. They've killed yeah, the um, workers. Benji, I went from 8.1 to 10 as well. It's, it's a pretty smooth process. I wouldn't worry too much about it. But, that being said, back up your stuff anyway. Thanks, Oracle. I found a way to get the Batmobile into the compound. They'll pay for this. All of them. Gates open. Time to bring in the car. Alright, I forgot about the Batmobile remote thing. I need to get the car into this area before I can use it. That's not really how roads work, but I'll give it a bligh. That was needlessly cool, guys. Okay, so I gotta focus on doing this sh stuff again. So excuse me if I'm not too talkative while this is going on. There we go. Alright, that's nice. Sir, he punched through the armor, just like you said. He's searching for hostages. Keep non-essential radio chatter to a minimum. Don't be listening. You are listening, aren't you, Batman? Listen, <laughs> Batman Wasa Knight. Yeah, only Trinidadians in the chat will get that joke. Operation Savior has begun. Well, and you know, my wife's giggling, so that was funny. Really, guy? Really? Really? You don't say. I'm giving you a chance to give up, buddy. I don't know how much they're paying this guy, but it's gotta be a lot, right? I'm gonna slowly creep up on him. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've seen in ages. Oh, boy. Right, what was I doing again? Right, yeah, hostages, right, yeah. Something like that. Firing main cannon. Hey, you're gonna let me out, right? Uh, how was I supposed to get in to help this guy again? Oh, I think I'm supposed to. Oh, right, open door, of course. Thank God you're here. Go, go, go. Run out. 
I'm gonna be real quiet here because this is one of my favorite moments in the game. That was real nice. I really like that scene so much. Sure you can! Producing his toxin on a massive scale. It's a bad. Real bad. We're talking about a gas cloud that could cover the entire eastern seaboard. Where do I find Scarecrow? I, I... I got no idea. All I know is he's moving ahead with his plan. And he's got a whole freaking army backing him up. We're screwed, Batman. I'll stop him. But first I'm getting you out of here. Wait by the Batmobile. Scarecrow. Not yet. It's worse than I thought. A thing that Brandon pointed out about this scene in particular, He's notice how Jim Gordon the holds the phone. Oh, they can hear the fan. Take we should probably turn the fan off for a little bit. Head to GCPD Sorry about that, guys. Um, did not realize that was a problem. Turning it off now. That should be better. Is that better, guys? Or are you not hearing that hissing sound in the background anymore? too dangerous. We have an AC on, but it's in the other room, so I just have the fan pulling air from the other room. We have an AC in this room, but it leaks, so... There's that. Hold tight. I'll get you to Commissioner Gordon. Attacks all over the city. Gotham is overrun. If I don't stop Scarecrow's That's bomb, good. There'll be no city. You guys need to let me know when stuff like that happens. That way I can I can improve my audio quality. Because remember, I'm still test running this whole Twitch streaming thing, so I mean I'd like to make it a weekly thing if possible, but my schedule may not permit that, so just you know, whenever permits. I'm taking a, a break from doing artwork this weekend so I can do you know, catch up on some gaming, do stuff like this. I know a lot of my friends wanted to see Arkham Knight, and a lot of you guys don't own new gen systems, so it was nice to, you know, do this and let people enjoy a little bit of this game. Alright, where do I go from here? Hmm. Where do I go? Ah, I think I know what to do. I'd forgotten, but now I remember. Oh great! Ninjas!
<laughs> Batman fighting ninjas is everybody's aesthetic. It's the greatest aesthetic ever. Yeah, he got me once. Won't get me again. Ninja, please. Here? Yeah, this. No, I think I want to put it up here. So I, I believe this means that I've captured the scarecrow. I've I've manipulated Crane. That was hilarious. I hate you. Don't you judge me. I hate you. Don't you judge me. I hate you. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the Batmobile. Do I have anything in Batmobile weapons I can upgrade? Mm, no, not I want I wanna upgrade the reload speed, but anyway, this is boring. Let's uh let's upgrade the Batsuit one more time. Yeah, melee armor is what I want. All the awards. <laughs> oh. See, I, I hate the lag in this thing because I have to wait that long for you guys to commend me on a bad joke. When, you know, like in real life, you guys just hit me upside the head immediately. Hehehehe. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Whee! Okay. All remaining units, final evacuation is Riddler forces engaged in the loading bay. Two Diamondbacks in support. I'm watching. That's one down. A lot of these guys. Can you check? God damn it! Oh, god damn it! Ask them if they can even see the stream right now. Yeah, apparently she started streaming her music. Oh no, they they can't see the game. Can they see the, can you log into the stream and see if Okay, stream is back up there, Sam. Yeah, um, to clarify what happened there, um, Ashley was playing music on her phone and hit the DLNA button, which started streaming her music to the Xbox and kicked me out of the game. Here's your interconnected future for Microsoft, folks. And as much as I love it, these are problems. I fucked up! <laughs> I gloved up! I gloved up! I gloved up bad! Alright, where do I go from here? Okay, I'm confused. I was I was talking there and I forgot what I was supposed to do. I got rid of those guys. Was there something in the room I was supposed to check? This guy's dead. That much I know. Boop, 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 boop. Right, okay, this, if I recall, is a pretty cool puzzle. I gotta turn on the power there. 
Well, hang on a second, guys. I think there's a thing I got to do. Oh, spray the wall. Right, there's the breakable wall there. I forgot all about that. Because I was supposed to detective mode the room. Thank you, Benji. Thank you for being so gracious. There's the wall I'm supposed to spray. There we go. Thank you, Benji. Don't know what I'd do without you. Not so distracted by that happenstance just now. That's not where I'm supposed to spray the gel, Batman. Ba Batman. Batman, pay attention, Batman. Batman. They also changed the explosive gel to clicking the stick, I think. Which confused the hell out of me the first time I did it. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Breakable wall. Yeah, I do remember enjoying That's this set of puzzles, though. Now. I should have stopped this. No, I'll just beat myself up more, because I'm Batman, and that's what I do. Batman, look, I've been talking with Robin. I really think you should consider letting him help you. You're up against an entire army. She's right. Really, Batman, the DLC is only five ninety nine. Both of us. I can handle it, Robin. I've told you what you have to do. Now do it. This can wait. No, it can't. You know what's at stake. I need you to stay focused, or things will get worse. Much worse. Does anybody else think that Batman's just being a glory hound? He only wants to help. Don't let your feelings for him cloud your judgment. You think I want him out there in harm's way? I'd rather he stay out of it. But he could help you. If Robin can't save those people, the fallout will be every bit as dangerous as Scarecrow's body. <clears throat> oh, how did I get past this again? There we go. Solving puzzles, guys! Because that's how hacking works. Didn't turn them off. Oh, right, of course. There we go. I do like these puzzles a lot. No, I didn't mean to do that. I guess I better detonate that before I go through. I guess being on stream is just rattling my nerves at this point. Oh, he doesn't have the slide move from Origins, does he? Okay. That's three dead now. These animals are going to pay. Well, Stream running okay? I don't see anybody chatting right now. Okay. Guys, chat? Chat going okay? You guys are a little quiet. Worries me. I'm just trying to keep this entertaining, folks. He had the slide in City. I, he had it in Origins too, because I remember using it like in ridiculous places where you should never use a slide, essentially. That's some nice destructible physics, I gotta say. This puzzle is awesomely cool. This is as high as the elevator will go. Brought to you by NVIDIA PhysX. Hey you! On your feet! This way! Move! No! Please! I said move! Get up! Take your hands off me! Or what? You need me to teach you some manners? You brought this on yourself! Now, take it like a man! 
and Steve Bloom again. Missed the third one. Or did I get the third? Yeah, I got the third one. <sighs> I can never get those guys in time. I hope Nolan North never stops doing voices. I hope he's in every video game ever. Well, he already is. It's okay. You're safe. You're too late. <laughs> We're both already dead. You know about the bomb he's building, right? Where is he? I heard him saying he was in the central mixing chamber. You know what that means. He's getting ready to release his toxin. I've seen what that stuff does to people. I still love when he was in Saints Row 4 as, like, uh, as an it's optional voice. Chaos. I won't let that happen. I'm getting you out of here. Get to the elevator. Okay, so I gotta do this and then I can go to the central mixing chamber, I think. Jim, I've rescued the second I'm sorry, baby. I'm Once we clear the central mixing chamber, chamber, I think I'm done for the night, but let's see how far He's I can the get there. Mixing chamber. As soon as the technicians are safe, I'm going after him. Is it as bad as it sounds? Worse, Jim. But I'll stop him. You have my word. <laughs> uh, so how do I get back outside? Oh wait, that door might have been open. I don't know why I'm up here. That guy would have gone to open the doors, wouldn't he? Guy's name is Adam Brewer, and he works in a chemical mixing factory. Doesn't anybody think that's strange? Yeah, so Brandon was pointing out that the way that Jim Gordon holds the bat communicator is interesting, because it's like he's never held a smartphone before, for, which, for a guy his age, is probably accurate. So a lot of little touches with the character- oh god, this boss battle. Alright guys, I'm gonna be a little quiet here while I focus on this, because this is really difficult. Well, it's not impossible, it's just I died a couple of times the first time I tried this, and it was really lame. Alfred. I saw, Sam. Initial scans indicate that the craft is unmanned and being controlled remotely. Weapons lock deactivated. Come on, man, hero! Let's see if you can keep up with me! Dang it. Taking fire. Taking lots of fire. I hate this boss battle, 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 I hate this boss battle. Oh, thank god. I really hate that boss battle. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Oracle. Scarecrow is preparing the bomb in the central mixing chamber. I need a way I'm Bruce Wayne, Mitch! 
I'm working on it, but I'm gonna need a couple minutes. What the five fingers say the face? Batarang! You've heard that, right? Guess not. These two were lucky. Scarecrow's forces have murdered the other workers. Bastards. Take them back to GCPD, but be careful, Jim. There's militia all over Gotham. What are you going to do? Oracle, I need that route to Scarecrow. We're running out of time. You're not gonna like this. There's only one entrance, and it's been sealed from the inside. What about the service tunnel? It runs behind the main wall of the facility. I've sent you the location. What are you going to do? Improvise. Boom. Alright, I've done that. Yes, I remember how this puzzle goes. Once more, I need to... Ah! I keep hitting the wrong bumper. Can't tell left from right. I'm terrible, guys. I'm sorry. Whoop! Here we go. Oh, these guys are still up here. Persistent. Nice. First, we need to focus on stopping Scarecrow. Then I'll deal with oh, this thing is really hard to line up. Or should I just line it up with the roadway and hope for the best? No. I think the way that this is gridded up on the ground, this is how I'm supposed to do it. So let's let's just go with that. Never seen that animation before, but alright. Press X to improvise. <laughs> Not far off from the truth, though. See, a lot of people complained about how much you use the Batmobile in this game. I quite enjoy it. It's a very visceral way to take out a gun, Batman. Batman, we made it back to the precinct. God knows how. There are tanks everywhere. The bastards must have been planning this for weeks. Dig in and do what you can, Jim. I'll deal with them as soon as I've stopped the explosion. We're all counting on you, Batman. We'll get through this. I know we will. At this point, I'm thinking maybe I should have done like a gimmick run, like done like super hard mode or something. Anyway, I'm doing this for the sake of people who haven't seen this game yet, so... And for, you know, my own entertainment, so why not? Wow, physics. You bad. Right now, our client is prepared. 
preparing to engulf the city in a cloud of fear. Target's here! It's Batman! All right. That wasn't hard at all. I've just run a simulation based on the mixing chamber capacity. He's not bluffing, Bruce. I guess now we know why he evacuated the city. He needed control of the plant. Only Ace Chemicals has the facilities to build a bomb of this size. The fallout will be huge. We played right into his hands. He didn't care if everyone ran. He knew that no one would be able to escape the blast radius. Um, I don't think he's cutting through with the batarang. I think he's cutting through with the um the blades on his gauntlets, the the sword blades. In fact, I'm I'm like 90% sure that's how it goes. All right, so here's the mixing chamber. Use the Batmobile to bypass obstacles. Okay, so let's start from here then. Uh, A A hold eject into glide. Oh, it's double tap and then hold. Okay. There we go. Gentlemen, tonight is the night that Gotham changes forever. The night it becomes a wasteland of nightmares, a forsaken symbol of Batman's failure, a monument to fear. But more than that, we're about to turn Gotham into the epicenter of a blast that will transform the entire eastern coast of America. Well, into yes. Domain. But I mean, you can't make a justice omelet without breaking a few justice eggs. I need to stop the chemicals being loaded into the mixing chamber. Once I clear the room, I can focus on stopping the explosion. I remember correctly, this is a pretty big clearance puzzle. So let's start small. Okay, guys, we need to be clear once the detonate. <laughs> let's see if that lures anybody else this way. more are there? Five hostiles detected. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, that guy's not here. Okay. Yeah, why not? I'll take that. That's a given. 
Three hostiles detected. Yeah, you can literally just move around in their field of vision and they lose you. I sort of like the Batman vs. Superman trailer. Uh, I don't think it'll be my favorite movie of the year, but I, I, th I think it's doing enough justice to the source material while still providing a new interpretation. And I'm excited to see it. I'm actually think my, the most exciting... Oh, I'm going to pause this here so I can level up and talk at the same time. I think the most exciting part of that trailer for me, though, is Wonder Woman, because, like... We haven't really had a really good interpretation of her in live action in a very long time. So I'm really excited to see how this fleshes out the universe, more so than just the fight between uh, Batman and Superman. No, I haven't seen Jurassic World yet. I may not make it to the theater in time to see it, though. Because uh, I think by the t I think Trinity Mall is not showing Inside Out anymore, so that might be something I have to get later on when it comes out. Anyway, so let's do this part of the story now. I hope Sammy's still watching. Sammy, are you here? I'm about to do one of the best parts of the game right now. Alfred. I heard what that maniac said to you, sir. I've been trying to contact Miss Gordon, unfortunately with no success. Keep trying. Warning. I can call an imminent. Alright, I gotta do the thing here. Preparing neutralizing agent. What are you doing? It's too late. You can't stop it. I know. I'm not trying to stop it, but I can reduce the blast radius. And what will happen to you? That doesn't matter. Find her, Alfred. Neutralizing agents deployed. These canisters are highly volatile. I'm going to have to move slowly. Be very careful. Sir, I urge you to reconsider. Evacuate now. If you're caught in that blast, you will die. There's no other way, Alfred. There's always a way, sir. Please. Hmm? No, I haven't seen Ant-Man yet. I'd love to, though. Uh, Taco Gaming X. Yes, I have beaten the game. Please don't spoil the scene, because there's a couple of people in here who have not beaten the game yet. This is really tense, guys.
That's one down. Three to go. Where is she, Alfred? I have no idea. It's my fault they took her. She was aware of the risks, Master Bruce. She'll be as angry as you are that she's allowed this to happen. Sir, listen to me. Don't you see? This is what he wants. Without you, Gotham will be at his mercy. You cannot let him win. Shit is tense, guys. <laughs> Gotta do this as slow as you possibly can. I have the DLC. Uh, I haven't played any of it yet, though. Uh, busy schedule. I'm only doing this from the beginning so that uh, those who have not seen this part get to see this part. And, you know, some of the other parts of the game. Also, I've heard the DLC is really short, so I'm sort of waiting till I have some time off from art to do that. It's what you taught me. Do the right thing. That's all that matters. Master Bruce, I implore you. You must get out of there. If this is about Miss Gordon, you cannot blame yourself for what's happened. Save yourself before it's too late. Goodbye, Alfred. Batman's got a persecution complex. Alright, let's get this deployed. <laughs> I love the music in this scene, though. It's darkly beautiful. Um, I would actually say no, unless you really, really enjoyed the game and 100%ed it, I don't really think the DLC is worth it, because, from what I understand, it doesn't really connect to the main story, and a lot of them can be finished in, like, under an hour. That's the third one. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a plot twist. I sort of agree, Taco Gaming X. Um, I do not have time in my schedule to do things like collect all 250 Riddler trophies. If it were just to complete side missions, that'd be fine, but a lot of them are things where they ask you to just kind of fly around and wait to hear something or wait to see something, and I, I really don't have the time in my day to do stuff like that. I, I like a much more directed gaming experience. Voice pattern analyzed. Identification confirmed. Welcome, Commissioner Gordon. Unbelievable. I'm going to get through this little last scene here, folks, and then I'm probably going to be done for the night, but um, I just want to point out a couple of things in this particular scene. Poster for the Flying Graysons. Poster for the Prosecution. I don't know if anybody gets that reference from the old animated series. 
Basil Carlo, Clayface, one of his old movie posters, and The Ghost in Grey. Yeah, no, the trailers actually did a wonderful job this time around. Do you remember, like, for Arkham City, though, there was that big thing about the Joker dying at the end that got spoiled, and I think some of the previews, like, I think Kotaku in particular's headlines spoiled that outright. And they sort of spoiled a couple of things about this game, too, but they spoiled the insignificant details and managed to keep the, the prime stuff, you know, clear. And I'm, I'm happy about that. This is a massively detailed environment, though. I'm just pointing what that out. What is this place? Commissioner, thank God! You have to get me out of here! They've locked me up! Running tests like I'm some kind of guinea pig! There's nothing wrong with me! Also, Taco Game AX, it's not just the Riddler trophies, but things like Man Bat, you know, you have to fly around the city and find him, or Azrael, you have to try to find what rooftop he's on. stops the juggernaut. Batman. I'm glad you came, Jim. You need to see this. What is this place? Who are these people? Before it killed him, Joker sent his infected blood out to all the hospitals in the state. I know. We tracked it all down. We missed some. How? Hospital errors. Transfusions that went unrecorded. Five people were affected. Untreated, the blood's gestated too long. It's altering them. They're becoming... Joker. My God. It's a form of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, but mutated beyond anything on medical record. What about that one? He doesn't look like the others. Henry Adams. He's been infected the longest. But he's symptomless. Immune to Joker's blood. I've got Robin running tests to find out why. One thing's for certain. Henry's the key to all this. I've cooperated. I've done everything you asked. You said it would only take a few days. You can't hold him here against his will. We're close, Jim. We can't let him go until we save the others. Wait. You said five. I only count four. There's one missing. He'll be here soon. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yourself. After all, you're rooting 
Reference to Napalm Enema, also homoerotic. Nova Crux, Brandon. There's always been homoerotic undertones between the Batman and Joker. That's part of the what makes the dynamic so great, honestly. I think that's something you should see the end of this game. Yeah, I love Mark Hamill as the Joker. Like, I fall into that camp. I'm sorry. Like, there is no Joker better for me. I think Mark Hamill's just a great actor on the whole. If you want to see the Joker at his most sexually deviant, uh, Arkham Asylum, A Serious House on Serious Earth. Great book. I thought you might be... It's okay, Alfred. I managed to reduce the blast radius and prevented the toxin from spreading into the city. But what about Scarecrow? Or this Arkham Knight character? They've got tanks, missiles, their forces are all over Gotham. Crane got away. I was exposed to his toxin. Good lord, are you alright? Remember what happened at the asylum? Best part of that game! It's okay. I had a bad reaction. But it's over now. I've really got to hand it to Scarecrow. I've never been a fan of his concoctions until now, but this batch, it's uh, <laughs> intoxicating. It really brings out the me in you. <laughs> Sir, did you hear what I said? Commissioner Gordon has been trying to contact you. Thanks, Alfred. Jim. You got out. See, I said you wouldn't let me down. I need to speak to you. Sure. What is it? Meet me outside GCPD prisoner detention. I'm heading there now. Okay, folks. I think this is going to be the end of the stream tonight. Um, thank you all for joining. I will probably pick this save game up right where I left off at some point. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, depending on when I have the time. But thank you all for joining. I hope I've shown you a good chunk of the game. For those of you in the chat who are thinking about buying the game, I think, I hope that this has you know, urge you to get it, even though I've just spoiled one of the biggest parts of the game for you. But, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. You guys hung out real long tonight. I have had a really nice stream of recording. Um, yeah, thanks for helping me build this Twitch thing. Take care, guys, and, uh, how do I turn the stream off? Let's figure that out. All right.